racking up a travel bill of $260,000 of taxpayers' funds in one year, can the Deputy Premier advise whether there are any commercial flights available to him? Well, yeah, absolutely, absolutely happy to answer. This issue was dealt with when, uh, when the expenses were tabled, but I'm happy to deal with them again. Deal with it again, uh, Mr. Mr. Chairman. No, no problems at all. The short answer is no. There are no commercial flights available to where I live in, in Monto. There are no commercial flights available. Uh, I, I, during that period that you uh, are referring to, I used a charter flight to come to work in Brisbane once a week. Flew down on Sunday night. Flew home on Friday night. Uh, but uh, uh, you have to understand that uh, those those commercial flights, and I know I know I know that the timetable is much better than you than you ever will, uh, are are not always conducive to fitting in with the diary of of somebody who does the, the job that I do. So, can you so I, I, I go back to the essential point. Sixty-four thousand dollars in three months. I go back to the essential months. point. That Sixty-four thousand. I go back to the essential point that. Members from regional Queensland have, have, have uh, every right to travel backwards and forwards to, to Brisbane to do this job, in, mm. and, and, if, and, and that's the, that uh, uh, you, you can't deny the, the, the I don't, people in regional the Queensland the opportunity, the opportunity to have their members. I find this very excessive waste of taxpayers' funds, very excessive waste. <laughs> When there are to commercial the flights available to you, the breathtaking hypocrisy of a member of the former Labor savings. government talking cut, about waste. You have cut. Talk, talking about. You have cut talking about jobs waste. in regional communities. The breathtaking.